Hi guys, it's Vicky. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making an even payout stitch cuff similar to this, but we're going to be making a really cute daisy chain pattern that I just drew up last night. The link to the pattern will be in the description and of course I'm going to guide you through how to make it as well. Um, as for my supplies today, scissors of course, don't forget those. I'm also for the string using a one millimeter white elastic that I got from Jolly Store Crafts. Very durable yet stretchy. And then let me break down the number and colors of the beads that I'm using. Um, when you click on the pattern link, it will also list them for you at the bottom of the pattern. So I'm going to be using 88 clear beads for the background. For the flowers, I'll be using 18 pink beads, 12 blue, 12 purple, 7 yellow for the centers of the flowers, and 7 green for the little stems that are going to connect the flowers. And that is a total of 144 beads. And that is assuming that your bracelet will be the same size as mine. Uh, my wrist is about 6 inches long, and so I like to make my even payout stitch cuffs usually about 24 beads long. So let's get started. I know that was a lot of information. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna wanna start with a piece of string. I like to start with a five foot piece and add more later. We're probably gonna end up using 10 feet or so, maybe less, I don't know. But I'm gonna start with five feet and add more if I have to. There is a tutorial on how to do that in the description below. So you'll take your string and fold it in half and hold the two ends together. Then you'll place um, one clear bead onto each end. So a clear and then a clear on the other end. And then put the ends together and add one pink bead onto both at the same time. And then for the next one, you'll be putting one pink onto one end of the string and then one yellow onto the other end. Put the strings together again. Add one pink onto both at the same time. Then one clear onto each end. Then put the ends together and place one clear onto both at once. So it should be looking something like that. And then you'll want to pull them all to the middle. Oop, I just threw that at my cat. Please don't eat my string. <laughs> so you'll want to pull them down to the middle of the folded in half string and tug to tighten them. And then it should look something like this. So I'm going to just put one end of the string back there. I'm not using it right now. And then I'm going to take the other end of my hand and add a clear bead. And then place my string through the next clear bead that's sticking out there. Then I'll be adding a light pink. And then I'll place my string through that yellow center bead. Now another pink bead and place the string through the next clear bead that's sticking out. Um, next will be another clear bead and then place the string through the next pink that's sticking out. Then we'll add the last pink to this flower. Place our string through that next pink next to it. So now our first flower is complete, that's awesome. Then I'll be adding another clear. Ah, oh, that's so cute so far. So now I'll be adding another clear. Place the string through the next clear that's sticking out. 
And now I will need a green there because that is where I'm putting the stem that's going to connect this flower to the next flower. So I'll put on a green right there. I'm really pleased with this color scheme. Alright, then another clear. Place my string through the clear edge bead. Next, I'll need another clear bead. And I'll place the string through the next clear that's sticking out. Another clear bead here. And another clear bead. I'm really into these clear beads right now. I want to explore the possibilities of them. Here we go with another clear. And then this is where our next flower is going to start and it's going to be blue. So I'm going to place on one blue bead. And then a clear. And then this row is going to go clear, blue, blue. And then this row will be clear, yellow, clear. This one will be clear, blue, blue. Now clear, blue, clear for this row. Now this row will go clear, green, clear. This row will be all clear. Okay, now we're gonna start a purple flower on this row. So we're gonna do clear, purple, clear. Okay. Next, we'll do clear, purple, purple. Next will be clear, yellow, clear. Next is clear, purple, purple. Clear, purple, clear. This end of the string is getting pretty short, so I'm gonna actually start using the one on the other side now. So on this side, I am going to do a clear bead, then a green, then a clear, then clear, pink, clear, then clear, pink, pink, then clear, yellow, clear, Okay, I'm gonna turn this around because I feel like it might be easier for y'all to see this way. Next, I'll do clear, pink, pink. Then clear, pink, clear. And then clear, clear, clear on this row. Now I'll do clear, green, clear. Now it'll be clear, purple, clear. Now clear, purple, purple. Then clear, yellow, clear. Now clear, purple, purple. Next will be clear, purple, clear. Next will be clear, clear, clear. Now clear, green, clear. Now it'll be clear, blue, clear. 
So my string's getting pretty short, so I'm just going to add some. I'm going to add like two feet. The tutorial on how to do that is in the description below. All right. So now we'll do clear, blue, blue. Now clear, yellow, clear. Clear, blue, blue. Next will be clear, blue, clear. Now we're gonna do clear, clear, clear. All right, now clear, green, clear. And now we're gonna be starting on our very last flower. So it'll be clear, then pink, then clear. Now clear, pink, pink. Now clear, yellow, clear. Now clear, pink, pink. Now clear, pink, clear. Now we do clear, clear, clear. Clear, green, clear. And that should do it. All right, so now we've got to connect them. So put your two ends together and just take one of the strings here. Let's see if I can make this easier to see. Um, basically, we're going to lace it up as if it's like a shoestring. So I'm going to take the longer one and I'll thread it through the beads that are sticking out, alternating each side. All right, so I'll take this over to the other side and put it through that clear bead on the edge that's sticking out. And then come back to this side and put it through the next bead that's sticking out on that side, which is that second clear bead in. Then I'll come back to this side and place my string through that purple bead that's sticking out in the middle of the flower. And then come back to the other side and place my string through this green bead that's sticking out. Then I'll come back over here and place my string through this second clear bead on the inside that's sticking out. And then back to this side through this edge bead that's sticking out. And now, I can take the two ends and tie them together. And of course, got a tug on it to tighten everything. There we go. So now we can really tie it off. Make sure that you tug on the ends of the string when you tie them, just not so hard that it's gonna snap. Snip those ends off. So there it is. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. You can show me your candy creations. My contact information is down below. And until next time, peace, love, unity, and respect.